What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and I just want to do a little experiment and test my connection between um, my regular internet and NordVPN to see how much it's actually slowed down when I use NordVPN. And um, I recently got gigabit internet, so I should be able to tell the full max that NordVPN is going to allow me to use. And I'll do a couple tests in different countries to try it out. So let's do an initial test just to get that speed going. Interesting. I'm not sure what I'm doing right now that's using internet, but uh, normally it's about 900. Let me give that another shot. There we go. So this should be a good baseline. Nine, and then we'll jump in NordVPN and do a quick connect, and then we'll try a couple different servers and see what their speeds are. So let's go ahead and uh, connect in the US at 3257. I guess I could use a speed test. Alright, so now we're connected. And let's go ahead and do a speed test. Still very good ping. And we're getting about 300 through NordVPN, 300 megabytes per second through a VPN. That's pretty amazing. Upload as well, um, 400. Wow. That's pretty wild. We're going to try it on um, the web version as well, just in case, because that's very, very good. So let's go ahead and go to speed test, and we'll hit go. And this is with NordVPN on. Yep, 300 megabits per second. Uh, that is amazing and very, very steady. What a great VPN. Um, and they're not... Um, a sponsor, trust me, I tried. Um, wow, that's cool. Alright, so let's try some of their specialized connections like P2P. Once this is done, we'll go ahead and do that. Can get a dedicated IP? Interesting. Let's try that first. slightly higher ping 200 so we're getting really good speeds even with this VPN um, I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this early just because I want to try some other ones as well let's try a double VPN so this is going uh, United States and Canada actually restart and get a better server this one is taking longer to connect very interesting I'm still finding an optimal server I might try refreshing this one, give it another shot. Still finding an optimal server. Alright, so I'm going to try uh, disconnecting. 
and then I'll connect to one more. I'm not going to rate that just in case it was a fluke. It's doing another U US and Canada one, so we'll go ahead and refresh as soon as it connects. Okay. So, no, no results on um, double VPNs. So, let's try Onion Over VPN. I know this isn't its recommended usage. I don't even know if this is going to work. But for science, <laughs> we're going to try it. No, because it's not a new address. Thought it might still let me. Let's see. It actually did find a server. But it's loading, so I'm not sure if that was the last connection or this one. Okay, so we're going to go and try P2P, which should work with a speed test. Once it loads, I'll go ahead and connect. US number 6073. Total server solution, San Jose. Seven milliseconds ping again, really good. So yeah, if you're using a, um, a standard VPN connection, a dedicated IP VPN connection or a P2P VPN connection, you should be able to get at least 200 to 300 megabits in and out um, from the VPN. So uh, NordVPN seems to be very, very fast. I honestly assumed it was gonna be like, I, I feel dumb for saying this, but like 15 megs a second, because that's just my experience with VPNs is usually slow. Um, and I was not expecting to get that much throughput um, with this connection. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and give a uh, country or two a try. Let's go ahead and try Mexico. And then we'll try Canada. And just for fun, we'll try Australia. Hundred and forty four milliseconds of ping, but we're getting a solid sixty to seventy megabits per second. Still not bad, especially for web browsing or watching videos that'll handle most um, HD content just fine. Upload thirty or forty. Fifty as well. Okay, so a little bit slower when we're getting further away. Let's go ahead and give Canada a try. And also there could be discrepancies with the servers themselves. If it's a loaded server, it might go a little slower. If it's um, pretty empty, you might be getting a faster connection. Okay, so let's go ahead and refresh. Let's Get a different connection. Still thinks California is the best place to do the speed test at, even though we're in Canada. 50 milliseconds ping, that's not too bad. And again, we're up to about 300 megabits per second. I am pleasantly surprised by NordVPN. Uh, let's go ahead and do Australia. Oh, geez, 400 plus megabits per second now through a protected connection. All right. Australia, 558.
can already tell we're getting a slightly slower connection through Australia's, through Australia's VPN. Uh, that might just be the server again. Three hundred and thirty ping. It's pretty high, but the speed is good. I'm still getting over a hundred and fifty, almost two hundred megabits per second through uh, Australia, which I'm sure has quite a few nodes it has to get before it gets to the U.S. So, um, very happy with this uh, setup. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect. I don't need to see the full results. We see about what the speed is. And it looks very steady as well. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope this video brought you some insight on what speeds you can expect connecting through NordVPN. Again, this is not a sponsored video. Um, I actually emailed them to see if they'd give me a promo code. And they were basically like, why would we? You don't get enough views. What? what how can you help us? So um, it was a little bit of a letdown, but who cares? For science, we are testing NordVPN's server speeds. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Peace.